Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Locker. In today's video, we are jumping into part 27 of this huge estate haul of nail polish that I found on Facebook Marketplace. We still have two more totes to go after this one is wrapped up. This one I might be able to get all in one video, but this could be kind of a chunk of a video, so we'll have to see how many I get through in about an hour 15, an hour 20. So we'll see where we are at about that timestamp of me filming anyways, and then go from there. So without further ado, we're just going to jump right in. The first polish of part 27 is a Stardust polish, and this is called Ginned Up. This is one of their micro glitters. This one might even have a shimmer component. There's a lot of beautiful twinkles going on. The base of this one is a deep plum. Look at that beautiful tone. It is a squishier jelly. Beautiful tone though, and I don't think I have anything quite like this in my collection yet. So this is going to go in the keep pile that is Stardust Polish Ginned Up. Next up, we've got a cupcake polish. This one is called One Shell of a Time. And this is one of their hollows. Oh my goodness. This has such beautiful rainbows in it. This particular shade of pink is kind of like a bubblegum pink which oddly enough, over the course of this haul, I have been surprising myself and keeping some in this color family of pinks. Prior to that, I usually wanted the mauvey shades and the hot pinks, the brighter summer pinks, but this is really growing on me. And I don't think I have this one from Cupcake Polish. They are another of my favorite brands. So we're gonna add this to the keep pile as well. That is Cupcake Polish, one shell of a time. Next up, we've got an ILNP or I Love Nail Polish, and this one is called Tenfold. Ooh, this is one of their larger particled hollows in a beautiful kind of a spearminty green. There's also a golden shimmer in there as well. Now, this is one that does sound familiar, so I'm going to put this in the To Be Checked pile and see if I might already have it in my collection. ILMP was the first indie brand that I bought from, unless you count Julep. So I do have some ILMP in my collection, and this one might be one that I would have picked up. This shade of green is one of the tones of green that I do like, so we'll check on this one and see if I own it already. Already. If I don't own it, it'll go in the keep pile and at least until I can do some comparisons. And if I do own it, it'll go in the D stash. So that was ILNP's tenfold. Next up, we have a KPT. Wait a second. Do their bottles always say that? Fluorescent by KPT? I don't recall them saying that. Hang on. Yeah, I think they most of the time say polished by KPT. Interesting. Now this one does seem to be missing its name tag, so I'm not sure which one this is, unless maybe that is its name. Maybe they changed up how they do their bottles at some point, but this one is a limey shade of green. You've got some hollow in here. You've got some golden large particled shimmer. Now this particular shade of green is not necessarily my favorite on my skin tone. There you can see it on the brush and wand. It's going to be a little on the squishy side. So I think I will go ahead and de-stash this one. As much as I do like these to look at, I've just found the time that I've worn them. I didn't enjoy them on. So I've been keeping a few if I feel that they have a unique composition of ingredients in the polish, but this one isn't really speaking to me. So we're going to add that to the de-stash. Next up, we have another Stardust polish. This one is Prototype 66, and this appears to be a black jelly. Yeah, definitely a black jelly. It's loaded with some components. It's got glitter and hollow, maybe some shimmer in there as well. This one has a really nice sparkle to it, and this is a color category or range of polishes that I have been de-stashing quite a lot of. I ended up with quite a lot early on in my collecting, and I just never really reached for them, but I do like this one, mainly because what I'm seeing in person is the hollow and that purple flash, and I want to see if that ends up coming across on the nail. If it does, this actually could be something that I could see myself wearing. So this is going to go in the keep pile. That is Stardust Polish Prototype 66. Next up, ooh, we've got a native war paints with a feather on it. <laughs> this one is called Audrey. Ooh, and it's from Polish Pickup November 2018. Ooh, it's a purple polish. You know, I gotta love it. It is beautiful. Plus, it has a very strong flash in it. That shimmer is really, really stunning. There's also some larger particled shimmer or maybe even micro flakies. I think you can see those twinkling away in greens. I'm seeing pinks as well, maybe a little bit of gold. 
This is going to go in the to be checked pile though, because I was shopping polish pickup in 2018. So I want to make sure that I don't already have a bottle of this, but again, same rules apply. If I don't already have this bottle, it'll go in the keep pile. If I do have it, it'll go in the D stash. So that was Native War Paints, Audrey. Next up, we have a square hue. This one is called Art and Deco. Ooh, look at this one. So this is kind of a coppery pink with a very strong golden shimmer in it. This kind of reminds me of that classic eyeshadow that was popular a few years ago, maybe even more than a few years ago, probably like 10 or 15 years ago. <laughs> it was a pink with a very strong golden shimmer in it. Now, I do think I have kept one that I remember describing that way as well, a pink with a gold shimmer, but I want to see how this compares. I don't think this is one that I've kept so far, so we're going to put that in the keep pile as well, again, at least until I can do those comparisons. So that one was Square Hues Art and Deco. All right, next up, let's do one of these. Now, when we've seen polished burritos before, they were usually in this sort of a material, not quite a paper towel, kind of like a, like a multi-layer shop rag, but I haven't seen these before. Now those, the ones that we had found before, were cult nails, and I'm curious if this is also a cult nail. It is! <laughs> All right, so we have at least one other, no, two more little burritos down there, so more cult nails, and this one is one of their unusual colors called Tulum. Now, I don't remember if we've run across this one before, but it is a very unusual color. It is a dark tan color with some gold shimmer. Again, very, very unusual. There is a yellow lean to this color. It's definitely a color that I'm a little hesitant about. I just don't know if it would look good on me. So I think we're going to go ahead and put this one in the D stash. That is Occult Nails Tulum. Next up, we have a Colors by La Row. This one is an Oops. So we've actually unboxed a handful at this point of their Oops polishes. So I don't remember if we've unboxed a Blue Hollow. I know of their named polishes, we have unboxed a few Blue Hollows. I am curious how this one would compare to the Blue Hollows that we have kept. If you've watched any of the other videos from this series, you'll know that Hollows are definitely one of my favorite finishes. The rainbows that they throw into every single color really gets me. So I want to at least see how this one compares to the other blues that we may have kept in this similar finish. And then we'll end up seeing if this is one I keep or if I find other favorites in that color family. But so far going in the keep pile, that is Colors by Row. Oops. Next up, we have a Glisten and Glow. This one is Endless Rainbows. Ooh, look at this one. So this is a rosy shade of pink. Again, you have hollow in here, a little bit more diffused than the cupcake that we got. So maybe a different kind of hollow. But this one also has a few other ingredients. You see that blue to purple shimmer in there. There's also a pink component. You see that, that cluster of shimmer particles there? all of those different shimmers and rainbows that are that are in there are really beautiful and i don't believe i have this one either uh, this is definitely a tone of pink i could see myself wearing anytime you mix pink with a blue ingredient it really really just speaks to me i don't know why i love that combination so much especially for someone who's more of a purple lover than a pink fan this combination of pink gets me every single time <laughs> at least 99 percent of the time so this is going to go in the keep pile as well that one is glisten and glows endless rainbows Ooh, i see another lacaster this is another brand that i actually don't have too many of because they are made overseas and this one is a bright pink this one is called the pink catalaxter so this is kind of a bright watermelon shade of pink, and I really like this tone of pink as well. This appears to be one of their cream formulas, which I don't know that I've tried before. A lot of their other polishes that I have are in specialty finishes, everything from shimmers to hollows or glitters. This is going to be a bit of a squishy formula as well. So yeah, this is going to go in the keep pile. I know I don't have it, so that is Lacaster's The Pink Cadillacer. The Pink Cadillacaster. <laughs> I don't know why that one is so hard for me to say. The pink Cadillacaster. Next up, we have oh, a cute Corelli. Oh my goodness. This is by Colors by La Roe, and this is Subtle Little Number. This is a sweet little mix here. You've got a very soft baby pink full of a very springtime glitter mix. You've got buttercream yellows, a soft lilac, small little micro glitters in a hot pink, 
and then you've got some white matte hex glitters. This is such a cute little mix. This is definitely going in the keep pile. I can't say that we've found very many glitter Crellies from this brand. Um, I don't know if maybe that's something that they did more early on because this is one of their older labels, but this is adorable. It's definitely going in the keep pile. So that was Colors by LaRoe, subtle little number. Next up, We've got one from Glitter Days. This is one of their smaller bottles in a 4ml size, and it is a glitter mix. Look at that. Wow, that is really neat. So it's kind of hard to see in the bottle, but on the wand, you can see it's a mix of these translucent neon glitters and then black and white matte glitters. Very unique combination. This is definitely going to the keep pile. It is one of their smaller bottles, but it is at least large enough that I feel like I could get some use out of it. And it is still in really good condition considering it's a small bottle of glitter polish, which does tend to dry up faster. So this is gonna go in the keep pile as well. Oh, did we even find a name? There we go. Summer Sprinkles by Glitter Days. Go in the keep pile. Next up, ooh, we've got a polish. This one is called Caramel Apple Orchard. So this must have come out in a Halloween collection. And this one is a beautiful pink leaning red. It's got hollow and shimmer. Wow, yeah, lots going on. You've got little micro flakies in a soft, almost translucent gold as well. So this is one that I'm pretty sure I don't have from this brand. Ooh, that is pretty. So it's definitely one that I want to at least see compared to the other reds that I've been keeping. Here on the neck of the bottle, you can see that juicy pink tone that it has in the base. Yeah, this is really gorgeous. So going to the keep pile, that one is from Polish Caramel Apple Orchard. Next up, we have a julep. This one is called Tammy. And this is another bright shade of green, maybe not quite as limey as that one from KPT, or maybe more limey. <laughs> maybe the one from KPT is more of a neon shade. I think I will still stick to my decision to de-stash the KPT, um, but that definitely means that I want to de-stash this one because it is that limey shade of green. That's going to go in the de-stash that is Julep's Tammy. Next up, we've got an older love Angeline. This one has lost its little label. So after a little bit of a shake, we have actually something that's pretty similar to the one I have on. Maybe a pinch less green, but it's kind of hard to say because in person I'm seeing a much closer match. There's also a line of delineation where it still needs a bit more mixing. So the bottom half of the bottle is lighter, but I'm starting to see a bit more green at the upper half. So it's kind of hard to say what this shade is actually going to look like on. It's got a little bit of a wonky brush, but see what I mean? I mean, that's very, very close. Again, I think actually on camera, the brush is looking bluer than my nail, hmm. which might mean that I want to at least swatch it and see. <laughs> <laughs> this is a color I really do enjoy. So we're going to put this in the keep pile. I'll have to do some research and see if I can't figure out what polish this is, but that is an unknown Love Angeline. Next up, ooh, we've got a shimmer from Cult Nails. This one is called Discipline. Now this definitely sounds familiar. Okay, so yes, I have already unboxed one bottle. So this one is already in the keep pile. So I don't necessarily need two of these. So one's gonna go in the D-stash, but very pretty shimmer in a gray. I mean, look at all those colors, blues, pinks, and purples. All right, next up, ooh, we've got a sassy sauce. This might be our first sassy sauce. I'm not 100% sure, but this is another brand that I really enjoy. This is from Polish Con Minnesota VIP 2018. This is an interesting shade of green. It's kind of like a soft sage green. Now you're seeing a lot of gold shimmer, but that color right there at the edge is more what the tone of the base is. Then on top of that, you have that golden shimmer and flakies. Those are multi-chrome, so you're going to see some beautiful fall tones in oranges, golds, reds. Wow, a vibrant green. I think you're seeing that as more of a bronzy gold, but this is a very interesting combination. There it is on the brush. Yeah, this is definitely one that I want to at least try because it does have a pretty strong golden shimmer in it. I can't say for certain that this is one I'll enjoy, but I really do like this shade that the base is in. So you never know, I might en end up liking this on. So we'll give it a try. That is Sassy Sauce Polish Con Minnesota VIP 2018. Next up, who 
is this? Conad. Okay, a very maybe dried out polish. Okay, maybe not. And with a little shaking, it does start to mix up. You can still see a lot of separation, but the brand is Conad. And this one does not have a little label. Um, I don't recall if this is a brand that we've found before. Oh my, this is a lot brighter on the brush than we've been seeing it in the bottle. A really pretty sort of pink orchid color. It's got that pinch of a purple lean. It is a mini bottle though, and I just feel like I could find colors like this in bigger bottles. So I think we're going to go ahead and de-stash this unknown mini from Conad. All right. Next up, ooh, we've got a contrary polish. This one is 18th and Vine. This one still needs a little bit of a shakeup, but this is a gorgeous tone of purple. There is a load of this pink and gold shimmer in it in a larger particle size. Ooh, this is so pretty. Look at that. Yeah, that is gorgeous. This one does kind of sound familiar though, and I don't know if it's because we've unboxed a bottle of it already, or maybe just another brand has this exact name. It's hard to say. I know we've already ran into that at least a couple of times before. So this is going to go in the to be checked pile. If I don't have this, this is going in the keep pile though. This is a beautiful shade of purple. So that is Contrary Polish 18th and Vine. Next up, we have another Stardust Polish. This one is called Prototype 65. Ooh, we have another purple. Ooh, this has some beautiful hollow and shimmer in it. Wow. This one does have a lot going on. I don't know if you can see all those twinkles. Oh yeah, pinks and blues flashing away, plus the hollow rainbow. This is going to go in the keep pile as well. Again, I will have to do a load of comparisons, especially of purples, but this is going to go in the keep pile. At the end of this entire series, what I'll do is go ahead and sort all of the ones that I have in the keep pile. I am probably going to go over the de-stash box, the tote. Here, let me, let me show you guys what, what's been going on. That is the tote of de-stash polishes. This is my tray of favorites. Those are the two that we have left to go over. My cats are eating in here as well. Never mind the horrible cat tree, but that is all the colors by Leroux that we've gotten. It is a huge, huge basket. Then we have some more polish over here. Those are some miscellaneous ones that haven't really been sorted by brand. That tote down there is the Parrot Polish, Square Hue, Glistening Glow, Bettina, and Butter London. Then over here I have a rolling cart of a bunch of other polishes that I kept from the haul organized by brand. So I've got Glam, Baroness X, Cupcake, Nerd, Bear Lacquer, Polish, Don Diva, Hair, Lacquer, Great Lakes Lacquer, Different Dimension. Then on the second one we have Vapids, Love Angeline. We've got Zoya's. Oops, we've got Zoya's, I think those are Native War Paints, the Rescue Beauty Lounge, and then down there I think are the Picture Polishes, and then Juleps are under there on the floor. Then we've got the uh, Emily Damali's Never Enoughs, uh, what was the other brand? Cirque Colors, and oh, A England was also in there. Those are all of the cult nails that I've been keeping. Then up here are more totes of nail polish, sorted by brand. So over in the blue one, we've got Girly Bits and Tico. Over in here, ILNP and Enchanted. And then a few others that are sort of organized. Oh my goodness, over there. So, oh, and behind me. Yeah, so those are all my keeps. So yeah, <laughs> a little behind the scenes. Uh, that's how I'm currently organizing everything. So yeah, basically the plan is to sort everything at the end, first by brand, just to make sure that I haven't accidentally kept any duplicate bottles that I didn't mean to, and then go ahead and sort them by colors. And then comes the load of the comparisons. So for the time being, this is going to go in the keep pile. That's Stardust Polish Prototype 65. Next up, we have another contrary polish. This one is Gift Wrap. So I believe this is another brand that doesn't make polish anymore. I got them a couple of times through Polish Pickup, and I really liked the ones that I got. This is a really beautiful shade of purple, uh, a different tone than the other one that we got. This is more of a berry-leaning purple, whereas the previous one, which was 18th and Vine, by comparison, has more of a blue or periwinkle lean. This one also has a load of shimmer in it. So you've got greens and golds. This is another one that I probably don't have. So it's going to go in the keep pile as well. 
because the name of this one doesn't exactly sound familiar. So that's going to go in the keep pile. That was Contrary Polish Gift Wrap. Let's see what this one is. This is a Vapid Moisturizing Body Mist. And surprise, I'm drunk. <laughs> I think they still have that scent. It sounds familiar. I don't recall if they've got it in their wax or just some of their other products. This is still a sealed product though. So again, with Bath and Body products, what I've been doing is setting them aside to do some research and see if they are ones that are safe to use or if they have ingredients in them that may have expired or anything like that. So that'll go with the others. But that was Vapid's Moisturizing Body Mist in Surprise, I'm Drunk. Next up, we've got, ooh, we've got a Lucky 13 Lacquer and it's a glow in the dark. This one is called Stone of Space. Ooh, okay, so this is another in that series, the Stone series or the Stone collection, because I have Stone of Power, I believe, already. So my guess would be it's a Marvel reference. Oh my gosh, look at this blue. Wow. So this is a blue on blue. You've got a blue base with blue hollow and blue metallic glitters in here. Wow, this is beautiful. So again, I'm gonna have to do some comparisons of this with the other blues that I've been keeping, especially in the blue micro glitters, but look at the twinkles. Oh my gosh. There's also a component in there that is throwing teal. You see that sort of, gr yeah, green right there intermixed with the darker blue. This is stunning. So this is going in the keep pile as well. That is our first Lucky 13 of this video. And that was Stone of Space. Ooh, I see a Dawn Diva. This one is called Don't Eat Yellow Snow. <laughs> oh, this is another OGUP polish from December 2019. Oh, always exciting to find those. Oh my goodness, look at that red. So this is a white polish. And you've got the very strong red to green to gold, which is very interesting because I'm seeing the red only on camera. In person, I'm seeing the green and gold. So this is going to be beautiful in different lighting situations. And it's definitely one that I don't have. There it is on the brush. And one. look at the twinkles. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. So going in the keep pile, that is Dawn Diva's Don't Eat Yellow Snow. Next up, we've got another Colors by LaRoe. This one is called Bless Your Wicked Little Heart. Ooh, and this is another one that seems to have UP in it. If it's not OG UP, it might be a UP sibling, but this has a beautiful red to green shifting shimmer. I'm trying to see if I am seeing that gold, but I'm definitely seeing that red shimmer in a squishy berry base. This is another beauty. Wow. So there it is on the brush and wand. Oh, that is so shimmery and beautiful. So yeah, I can't really tell if it is OGUP or not, uh, but in any case, it is absolutely beautiful. The sparkles and twinkles in this kind of shimmer are just gorgeous. So that one is going to go in the keep pile as well. This is actually surprisingly another color category that I'm going to have to do a lot of comparisons of because despite me always saying that reds aren't my favorite, this kind of red absolutely is. So I have quite a few that I've been keeping just from this alone and I'm going to have to compare them at the end to make sure that we don't have any that are dead on the dupes of each other. But that was Colors by LaRoe. Bless your wicked little heart. Going in the keep pile. Next up, we have a Vapid. This one is called Glinda. Ooh, okay, so Vapid is another brand that I really, really like. And this is a stunning shade of pink. Look at how sparkly this one is. It is jam-packed full of different sizes of shimmer. You've got at least one that is a larger shimmer particle that is in a bright pink. Then I'm seeing some, like, micro red either glitters or another shimmer component. There's glints of green and gold at the edges as well. This is stunning. Oh, I'm seeing purple as well. So many different colors. Now this is one that does kind of sound familiar. I think Glinda is the Good Witch from Wizard of Oz. So maybe that's the reason it sounds familiar, but I don't know if it's also because I know this polish. So this is going to go in the to be checked pile. Again, same rules. If I end up owning it, it'll go in the D stash. If I don't own it, it'll go in the keep pile. So that was Vapid's Glinda. Next up, we've got more glitter from Colors by LaRoe. This one is called Beautiful Disaster. Ooh, look at that. So many sparkles and twinkles. We've got 
dark blue, we've got red, green, silver. Some of this is holographic, some of it might just be metallic, but look at how many beautiful colors are in there. It's coming off mainly as a deep rose pink, but you've got so many different flashes of the different colors coming from those glitter mixes. This is stunning. So this is one where the name does kind of sound familiar, but I don't know again if this is because we've unboxed a polish. So we're going to put this in the keep pile because going through the colors by Laro, uh is, uh, well, you saw the tote. It's huge. So this is just going to go in the keep pile and we'll do the sorting at the end and just make sure that I haven't already gotten a bottle, but go in the keep pile for now. That's Colors by Laro, a beautiful disaster. Next up, we have a Cult Nails and this one ooh, has lost its little name tag. After a good shake, I think it's just their basic white cream. I thought I might have unboxed a white polish from them, but the closest one that I could find was called Faded, which is actually a light gray. So I don't have one of these in the keep pile anyways, although it's possible if I did run across their white polish that it's in the D-stash, but I think I want to at least swatch this one and see how I might like it. I have been setting aside quite a lot of basic white creams with the plan of eventually comparing them all and seeing the tonal differences, the consistency differences, if there's any opacity difference, things like that. So I want to see how this one would compare to those. And then of course, find out what the name is, but that is a white polish by Cult Nails. Next up, we have a super chic lacquer, and this one is called Happenstance. This one is a bubblegum pink with just a subtle shimmer in it. This one kind of reminds me of possibly another polish that we've gotten already. Now, while I am wearing a pink kind of similar to this one, uh, it still is not my favorite shade. Just to compare it to the other pink that I have kept, this is the one by Cupcake Polish. It is a slightly deeper tone, and I think the one that I'm wearing is actually a lighter, more pastel version. So yeah, I don't know. For some reason, this one just not speaking to me. So we're going to go ahead and put this one in the D-stash. That is Super Chic Lacquer's Happenstance. Next up, we have another Colors by LaRoe. This one is called Mom Jeans. Ooh, and we have another Linear Hollow, and it's got flakies. Ooh. So again, you've got beautiful linear holographic from this brand. I don't think we've seen this kind of flaky in a hollow before, at least not that I can recall. This is a really stunning shade of blue as well. So the name does sound familiar, but I don't think we've run into this color before. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the keep pile as well, at least until I can do those comparisons. So that's Colors by Laro Mom Jeans. Next up, we have another julep, and this one is called Ming, and it is from the It Girl line. Now, this one, I know I have this one already. It is a beautiful jelly lilac shade, and I already have it in my collection, so this one is going to go in the D-stash. That is Julep's Ming. Next up, we have another mini bottle from Conad. This one also has no name, but appears to be another white polish. So again, many bottles just aren't my favorite. This one also seems to be having a little bit of consistency issues, which is one of the reasons why this size of a mini bottle just isn't my favorite. They just have a tendency of drying out pretty quickly, oftentimes anyways. So that's going to go in the D-stash as well after I see about adding a little bit of thinner. But that is a white from Conad. Ooh, I've been staring at <gasps> that one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. It's another bee's knees in their older bottle. I am so excited. So I think we've only unboxed maybe only one other bee's knees lacquer. And I definitely was not expecting to find any in this haul. I, I don't know, hadn't really crossed my mind. If you are a regular on my channel, you'll probably know that bee's knees lacquer is one of my favorite brands. And I don't have all of their bottles. Um, they were quite prolific with their collections. And even though I did discover them fairly early on, I didn't buy everything. I mean, on a monthly basis, they had collections anywhere between, I don't know, six and 12, if not more polishes. And I most definitely did not buy all of them, especially early on. So there were still a lot of polishes that I don't own. Let's see which one this is. Ooh, this is squatching around. So I don't know that I even knew about this polish and it is gorgeous. Look at that. So it does need a little bit of a shake. Wow, look at that. So you've got this multi-chrome base. You've got a juicy berry shade with some purple, teal, and green. You've got twinkles, 
sparkling away in a larger particle shimmer, maybe even a micro flaky. Wow, this is really, really beautiful. There you can see that purple base a little bit better, but it definitely has a very strong green shimmer. Now something about this is making me think that it might be a magnetic. Let's take a peek. Oh, it's a magnetic. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is really exciting. So yeah, like I said, I did not even know about this polish and look at the colors in here. Wow. So this is definitely a highlight for sure. Uh, this is going to make it over into my favorites and it's going in the keep pile. So that was Bee Knees Lacquer squatching around. <laughs> so excited. Next up, ooh, we've got another sassy sauce and it's one of their thermals. This one is the house began to switch. So I'm not sure if the thermal properties are still going to change, but this is a deep charcoaly gray with a load of glitters and a lighter gray shimmer. So you've got iridescent and metallic, maybe metallic silver or silver hollow. This is a pretty polish though. I am curious, like I said, about if it still transitions into whatever other color it goes to whether or not this is the cold state or the warm state. And I think this one could look beautiful on. So this is going to go in the keep pile as well. I don't think this is one I have already. So that is Sassy Sauce. The house began to switch. Going in the keep pile. Next up, ooh, we've got another Vapid. This one, oh, lost its little label. But it is a beautiful shade of blue. Does need a little bit of a shake. So this one is a light blue with a green shimmer that has some shifts in it towards the edge of the bottle. I'm seeing a light pink pop up. This is a really beautiful soft shade. Might even have more shifts than I'm initially seeing, but look at that glow on the brush. That green is beautiful in this base. So this is going to go in the keep pile, at least until I can look up online and see if I can figure out what the name of this polish is and then find out if I might already own it. But for the time being, it's going to go in the keep pile. That is an unknown one from Vapid. Next up, we have another Colors by LaRoe. This one is You're to Blame. Ooh, and we have more hollow. This is a berry shade. You've got that linear holographic just blazing away. I'm trying to see if I see any other particles in there and I might, I think there might be a pink. This is another color family that I really, really like these berry shades. Oh yeah, that is absolutely gorgeous. So this is one that I don't think we've run into before. The name is not sounding familiar. Oh my gosh. You see that hollow? Wow. That is blinding. Definitely going in the keep pile. That is colors by Laro. You're to blame. Next up, ooh, we've got another from Polish. This one is called Fields of Gold, and it was a box indeed exclusive. Ooh, so this one is a lot of gold, but there is this coppery warmth around the edges that I really like. I think it is in a clear base. So this might have topper possibilities. Oh yeah, that is definitely a sheer base. Look at all those glimmering goodies. What I like about this kind of gold is the tone of it as well. It is a bright kind of gold, but it's not brassy. It's almost got a softness to it. There's also a rose gold or maybe even a copper flake in there. Plus there's hollow. So this is one I want to at least see how it swatches. Try it over some colors. This could look beautiful over some fall polishes. And I don't think this is one that I have yet either. So that's going in the keep pile. That is polishes fields of gold. Next up, ooh, we've got a Great Lakes Lacquer. This one is called Bayou Princess. Oh my goodness, again with a strong hollow. Wow. This one I would assume is going to be green. With hollows, it can often be very difficult for me to, to tell the colors in these lighter shades that are just so packed full of hollow, but it definitely has a green and gold shimmer component as well as the base color. So this is another one that I know I don't have. So it's going to go in the keep pile as well. Again, at least until I can do some comparisons and see how it might compare to the other hollows in my collection. But that was Great Lakes Lacquer by You Princess. I think it's our first Great Lakes Lacquer of this video. Next up, ooh, we've got another vampy shade from Colors by LaRoe. This one is called Devoted CBL Addicts. Ooh, look at this 
beautiful shade. So you do have some linear holographic in here. It is a different type that's in their pure linear hollow, but look at how that is down there. That is really pretty. There's also a red sparkle in there. You can see that up there twinkling away. And there's some pink flakies in here. This is really, really pretty. This is again in that shade range of reds that I really, really like. And look at all the sparkles. Plus, I know we haven't run into this name before, so that is definitely going in the cute pile. That was Colors by LaRoe, Devoted CBL Addicts. Next up, we have another Colors by LaRoe. This one is called Julia Roberts, 1967. This one is a beautiful light shade of green, and again, we have hollow. You can see that rainbow there. This seems like it might be a creamier formula, so it might be a different finish on the nail than a straight up linear flare, but you can definitely see that rainbow. There's also a larger particle shimmer in here that's twinkling away in a like translucent silver, but also pinks and greens. This seems really unique. There it is on the brush and wand. Yeah, definitely a creamier formula than the other hollows. This is definitely one that we haven't run into before either. And I really like this tone of green. So this is going to go in the key pile as well. That's Colors by LaRoe, Julia Roberts, 1967. Next up, we have another little mini bottle, this time from Nail Nation 3000. We have gotten a few bottles from them in different bottle sizes that have their full name on it. And this one, as a mini, does not have its little name tag. This one appears to be a shimmer polish with some hollow in a silver. So again, mini bottles just aren't my favorite. This one does seem very, very pretty though. It's got that icy quality to it. Maybe even a bit of like a pearl essent pigment in here. But again, I'm just not that jazzed about the mini bottles. So this is gonna go in the D-Stash. That is a Mystery Nail Nation 3000 mini bottle. Next up, we have another Glisten and Glow. This one is To the Flamingo We Go. And look at this one. We have another Crelly. So we have more glitter mixes in a kind of a dusty rose shade of pink. The glitters are in a hot pink, a bright blue, and some yellow as well. Plus, there is a purple shimmer that has a blue flash that you're seeing on camera. And there's hollow in here. This is another really, really unique mix here, and that might be more like how it would look on the nail. Again, we have one of the color combinations that always gets me a pink with that blue shimmer. So this is going to go in the key pile. I could definitely see this being a polish that would make an adorable Manny, and it's one I know I don't have. So that is going in the key pile. That is Glisten and Glows to the Flamingo we go. Next up, we have another mini Conad. I think we have a whole box set of these because I also see another one here. We're just going to do both of them at the same time. We've got a purple cream and a pastel lime green maybe. The purple is actually a tone I could definitely see myself wearing, but I also keep a lot of these. And again, mini bottle, not that jazzed about it. This one needs still a lot of shaking to see what the color is actually going to be. Okay, so here we go. It's more of like a very light pistachio green. Again, I actually think I would like this color, but... It doesn't have a name. It's in a mini bottle. I'm going to make myself de-stash these. There's just too many downsides. <laughs> no names and mini bottles. So two more conads going in the de-stash. Next up, we have another Colors by LaRoe. This one is called What's Your Dream? Ooh, and we have more hollow. This is another in that berry tone, but I don't think any of the other berry shades that I've kept are really like this one. Yeah, that one, the Stardust polish is darker. You're to blame is maybe the closest, but in person, they're definitely different. What's Your Dream is darker, and there also seems to be a different kind of hollow in it. So again, at the end of all of this, I definitely will have to do some comparisons, but this is one I don't think we've run into before, so it's going to go in the keep pile as well. That's Colors by LaRoe, What's Your Dream? Next up, we have a square hue, and this is called Mambo. Ooh, this is a beautiful sort of terracotta shade. There's a pinch of pink to it, but the bottle might still need a little bit of a shakeup. Oh yeah, definitely a terracotta cream. Look at that beautiful shade. Oh my goodness. So this is pretty much the shade of orange that started me on my fall into fall oranges <laughs> a few years ago. That was probably when I started this channel. So 2020. And yeah, just absolutely fell in love with these colors. And actually, I think I may have 
technically bought some of the colors in the year before, so 2019. But yeah, absolutely love this shade. And this is one that I don't think we've got in this haul yet. So this is going to go in the keep pile until I can do those comparisons. So that is Square Hues Mambo. Next up, we have an A England. This one is called Love is Enough. Now, I think I'm pretty sure I have this one. The name really sounds familiar. It is a deep charcoal gray that has a load of gold shimmers with some other colors in it as well. The twinkles are in blues and pinks with some green popping up as well. But again, because I do already have a bottle, this is going to go in the D stash. So that was A England's Love is Enough. Next up, ooh, we've got an Emily Damali. This is another of my favorite brands. This one is called Dancing Through Sunday. This bottle has been catching my eye down there since I unburied it, and it is a stunning polish. So the base is this really beautiful dusty blue that's got that pinch of purple in it, and then look at how jam-packed it is with that shimmer. There's a hollow component to this as well. Lots of pink, lots of gold. There's green as well. This is gorgeous, just dazzling. So this one, I don't know if it sounds familiar. Emily Damali is actually in my top five for most owned bottles from a single brand in my collection. So this is going to go in the to be checked pile just to see if I do already have it in my collection. But this is absolutely going in my collection if I don't already own it. So that is Emily Damali's Dancing Through Sunday going in the check pile. Next up, we've got one from Aurora. This one is called Maniapolis, and this was from the RNA VIP EX01. Oh, Roar Nails. I wonder if that was an event or what that was. Now, this is a brand I've heard of, but I don't own that many bottles from this brand, and it's a purple. <laughs> Plus, it's got a blue shimmer and hollow. This is a stunning polish. So you guessed it. It's one I don't own, so it's going in the keep pile. That is Aurora's Maniapolis. Next up, we have a tonic. <gasps> so this is another brand that I have been thrilled to find in this haul. So I don't know that I have this one, but this is beautiful. It is called Heartburn. Look at that glow. Oh my goodness. So this is a creamy berry shade. It is full of a shimmer glow that I think you're mainly seeing as a red on camera, but I'm definitely seeing green and orange. This is lovely. So I do have a lot of tonic polishes as well, but this name doesn't really ring a bell. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this in the keep pile. That is Tonic's Heartburn going in the keep pile. All right, so we are at 50 bottles of polish. I think I can squeeze in at least five more, maybe even 10. So let's go ahead. I'm going to try to speed through the last few. I definitely am not going to be able to go through the rest of these though, but we can at least get a few more. All right, next up, we've got another Colors by La Roe. This one is called Sleeping is for Suckers. <laughs> and this one is another of their more scattered holographics in a very interesting, like, tan caramel shade. It has a beautiful hollow in it. This is a pretty unique shade. It's like a pinky tan with a pinch of orange or coral in it. This is very interesting. There you can see that hollow. I didn't think it was very strong from my angle as I was looking at it, but the more I spin the bottle, the more that that really seems to be shining through beautifully. Now it is pretty close to my own skin tone, so I'm not sure how I might like it, but I'm curious enough to give it a go and at least swatch it. So that is Colors by La Roe. Sleeping is for suckers. Next up, we've got another Colors by La Roe, and this one is Monkey See, Monkey Do. Ooh, we've got more hollow, this time in the glitter size. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is is dazzling. This is in sort of a slate blue base. Yeah, look at that color. Oh my gosh, the twinkles from that glitter are just jaw dropping. This is stunning. So this is another one that doesn't sound familiar as far as the polish goes. So this is going to go in the keep pile as well. That's Colors by La Roe, Monkey See, Monkey Do. Next up, we have another Emily Damali, and this one is called Inner Peace. Ooh, we've got Hollow from Emily Damali too. <gasps> Look at that. So this is another beautiful shade of blue, again, with striking hollow. The name of this one does sound familiar, but I don't know if that's because 
it's a phrase again and there might be other polishes in different brands that have that as a name but we're going to go ahead and put this in the to be checked pile just to make sure that I don't already own a bottle so again same rules apply if I don't own it it's going to go in the collection if I do it'll go in the d-stash so that was Emily Damali's inner piece next up we have a contrary polish and this is slave girl bikini my guess is that is a Star Wars reference and oh my goodness this is beautiful so this is like an oxblood or burgundy shade you have a larger particle shimmer in here as well as a holographic glitter this is stunning Ooh, and actually on the wand it's more of a berry so that might have a squishier base that is stunning this is definitely one that I don't have, so this is going to go in the keep pile as well. That is Contrary Polish Slave Girl Bikini. Next up, we got a new to me brand. This one is Freak Show Polish Trapeze Swinger. So this is another beautiful mix of glitters and shimmers. I actually can't quite tell what the base color is. Maybe almost like a very, 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 very pale well, I was going to say pale, pale yellow, but I'm going to go with basically just clear. Maybe ever so slightly tinted with something, but it's got a very unique mix of glitters. It's got these soft cornflower blue glitters, matte yellow glitters, and then some hollow, some iridescent glitters. This is a very fun mix. I could easily see this looking beautiful on its own, but also as a topper over other colors. It is definitely a new to me brand, so I don't have anything from them yet. So this is going to go in the keep pile as well. That was Freak Show Polish Trapeze Swinger. Next up, ooh, we have an ethereal polish. This one is called Enchanted Grotto from HHC for January 2019. So this is another of my favorite brands. They have so many beautiful shimmer polishes and flakies and hollows. This is stunning. Now the name definitely sounds familiar and I was definitely shopping from HHC in 2019. So this is going to have to go in the do I have it pile. But I mean, look at this combination. You have stunning iridescent flakies in a bright vivid green with this beautiful deep blue base and that shimmer. So if I don't have this, this is definitely going in the keep pile. That is Ethereal Lacquer's Enchanted Grotto. Next up. What is this? Ooh, okay, so this is a gold topper, a like gold flake topper or a, what do they call this? Gold leaf. This looks like a gold leaf topper. That is really, really pretty. The flakes in here are really rather large as well. It is in just a unlabeled bottle, so I don't really know who it might be from, but this is definitely something that I don't have. Now, I think we did find a little bottle of gold leaf in one of the other totes. So maybe the previous owner was just making her own. That's always a possibility. This is definitely going in the keep pile as well. So that is an unmarked bottle of gold leaf topper. Next up, we have another square hue, and this one is called War Crinoline. So this does still need a little bit of a shakeup, but this appears to be a soft version of like an army green kind of on the deep sage side of the color wheel. Yeah, definitely beautiful shade of green there. It is in their cream formula, and this is one that I don't think we've unboxed yet, so this is going to go in the keep pile as well. That is Square Hues War Crinoline. All right, you guys, two more will get us to 60 bottles for part 27. Let's do this one. Ooh, we've got another tonic. This one is called First Kiss. All right, this one I'm pretty sure I do have. This is another combination that I absolutely adore. It is this dusty, sort of chewed up grape bubblegum purple that I really enjoy. Plus you have a very strong green shimmer. This is a stunning polish, but I don't necessarily need two bottles. So this is gonna go in the D-stash. That is Tonic's First Kiss. All right, one more. We're going to close it out with a native war paints, and this one is called Broke Again. This one came out in Polish Con for Minneapolis 2018 limited edition. This one sounds familiar, you guys. I don't know if maybe I got a bottle through a D-stash or if this was maybe one of the times where some of the brands were having like twinning polishes where they named a polish something close and maybe I have a broke again polish from a different brand. I really don't know, but this is a very beautiful dusty denim blue with a very strong hollow and a strong red shimmer. Look at that glow. Wow. So 
I'm going to put this in the to be checked pile just so that I can see if I already own a bottle or maybe figure out why it sounds familiar. So Native War Paints Broke Again is going to go in the do I have it pile. And there we have it. That was 60 bottles. Whew, 60 bottles. All right. We do still have a few more to go for the next portion of this series. Depending on how little time this might take me for the rest of these, we might jump into one of the other totes for the second half of that video. But that's going to close it out for part 27. Definitely let me know down below which ones were your favorites. I know for me, it's got to be hands down that Bees Knees Lacquer. So, so, so excited about that one. But I am also excited about the Tonics and the Emily Damales. And I mean, there's a lot of other ones that were really good finds this video as well. So again, just having a load of fun with this. Hopefully you guys are having a good time watching. If you're new, make sure to hit the little subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos or the rest of this series. And I will see you in that next one.